Disregard your kids in the first place. She said, What if I had kids? That's just gonna show you exactly what you got to expect. You know, how the fuck do you expect a motherfucker to be there for his kids when they left you for a motherfucker and wasn't there for his kids? Especially you, multiple kids have motherfuckers. This is wild out here. This is crazy to me, huh? And I think with over generation over time, things would have changed. And I'm looking at how it shit's been since I was a fucking kid. You know, five years old, six years old, seeing this shit. Things get older, you think shit change, get better, you get everything that's going to the world evolves, but, you know, people evolve and some don't, you know, just like, you know, me, it took me a long time to realize just because I see shit in a different light doesn't mean that the world everybody else is, and yes, people that think like me, there's a hell of a lot that don't, there's people that got the same moral background and standards as me, there's a lot that don't, you know, so I realized that, you know, and even at the same time, um, when you're out here, um, you know, trying to build um, relationships and things like that, you know, with your kids or your spouse or your girlfriend, all that stuff still applies. You know, that's why it says a lot to me when I look at a person and, and you call, you know, friend. You know, I nobody I, I call a, a close personal friend is a deadbeat. Because I can't be around them. I don't like them. I, I can't stand those type of people. Because those babies didn't ask for, you know, to be here. And then especially when they're super young, it's like, man, they just just want to be happy. Your, your thing is just to make sure your kid's happy. Just because you got to pay child support with some of that shit. First of all, y'all should, should, should be picking the right woman. We won't even put you in that situation. I've been blessed to, to have kids by two good women, you know, and, 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 and never had no issues. There was women that wasn't on that type of shit, you know, and, um, that's, that's a good thing, you know, but there's a lot of them that's on it, a lot of them not, you know, even the dudes on it nowadays. Because now here in Illinois, child support is just not going to be, become just automatic 20, 20%. I think they passed it all two years ago. It's no longer just 20%. Um, it's based on the income. So if your baby mama is making more money than you, y'all going to work, more money than the guy, then he's gonna pay less in child support, or or um, type of demo. The max is still twenty percent, you know. But it's it's now they're looking at both parents' incomes now. So if you got a a a a, a, a baby mama that's making a hundred grand, you know, uh, more than likely you're not gonna be put on child support, or your child support gonna be very minimal because due to her income level. So Illinois is kind of changing a little bit. You know, but they behind on a lot of shit, you know, like with the weed shit. Uh, you can't sit in the, on the street or walk down the street smoking blunt, woo, woo. But then you see, oh, roughneck-ass New York just turned around and allowed it. 
told the police, oh, they don't fuck with nobody for smoking in their cars or on the steps. Any way you smoke a cigarette, you can smoke a fucking blunt. You know, so that's something totally um, different, though. But once again, uh, these people that don't take care of their kids, you know, and then to see so many of these chicks out here chasing dicks instead of chasing their fucking seeds, they're fucking crazy. It's fucking crazy, leaving the fucking kids with Big Mama, you know, with with, with, with this sister, that sister, that auntie, that uncle, that cousin. Well, because everybody got a family, and you know, it's always going to be a family member that's going to be there for them kids. You know, but, you know, these parents, y'all can't be holding them in high regards or holding them up, you know, like they superstars and God's gifts to, the, to, to this, that, and the third. And they, uh, they can't even... I mean, in, in, in real life and behind the scenes, they can't even take care. Of they goddamn shit. And on behind the scenes, they can't even take care. Of they goddamn uh, they business. It's crazy, man. It's crazy. You know, it's just when I see people like that, I, I'm just honest. We can't we can't vibe. We ain't connecting. We ain't vibing. You know. If we if we in a session circle or whatever we the woo 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 we chopping it up woo when it come up all that's that type of motherfucker and and, and and you know it's a and you know uh, the situation I mean we know some situations put men and women in a situation where they can't be around their kids for whatever they get snatched they you know woo, woo shit I know I lived it shit. Back when I was a kid, mom and daddy snatching us from each other all the goddamn time. Everywhere they move, they move few few fucking blocks from each other. You know, rest in peace, dad. You know, but I, I appreciate him constantly fighting for me and grabbing me at five years old and raising me to be the, the, the successful man that I am today. You know, I think if it was the other way around, it probably would be the other way around. So shout out to dad for that. You know, always love you for that, man. But it's situations, man, when I see motherfuckers that don't do shit for their kids and don't be there for them and don't attempt, you know, at the end of the day, you can pick you pick your kids up, spend a little time with them. But I see motherfuckers getting drunk, high, partying. Y'all yeah, motherfuckers party hard all night long. Motherfucker, you be sitting up with your kid. You know, you can get your kid early in that time of night. You can be watching them sleep or, you know, woo, woo, woo. You know, playing a little game or something with them. But now that this weather from the break, oh man, you gotta remember, we just came from fucking COVID. All that old shit, well, we had to sit back and chill for a year. So you know there's a lot of babies made. Don't y'all get to passing these babies off on your grandmas, your cousins, and all that because of weather breaking. These towns are starting to open and back up, cities opening back up. Y'all gonna try to pass them babies off because I know it's a bunch of newbies. Shit, it's been 12 months. So it don't take long for motherfuckers to say the lockdown before motherfuckers ain't gonna have shit else better to do. Because half the motherfuckers was going outside the house because they ain't had shit in their house to keep them occupied. That's no knock on nobody at all. Thank God for my blessings. That I can always stay occupied with everything inside my crib. I don't need to, need to go nowhere else. I bring it all to me. But take care of them kids. I don't want to see y'all out here. Not without these babies. The ones that got them, man. Just step up, man. It ain't that fucking hard. Just step up. And believe me, that baby gonna remember you. Because I'm watching cats get older now. Now the parents is fucking older. Woo, woo, woo. Now you want to try to be a parent. The kid ain't got no time for you. Got no time for you. I'm seeing my little shorty, 21. Now, it was like three weeks ago, and it just been on my mind. That's why I'm kind of stopped talking about this. You know, mama fucking dropped him off. Dropped him off. First put him to his grandma. His grandma couldn't uh, handle it. There was a lot of kids, just like most typical black grandma family. You know, whites too. Mexican too. Yeah, because I've known a lot that fucking grandma taking care of five, six fucking kids. Especially when I dip over to see the homies and, and, and little village shit. Boom, I see that shit. I see him go, go to the project, stop by, stop in on somebody you ain't seen in a while. I'm like, damn, 
all the brothers and sisters and drop the fucking kid off on grandma. You know. I'm just telling my people out here, y'all step it up, man. Let's step it up. I know y'all agreeing with me on what I'm saying on, on when it comes to these kids out here. Step it up. Because now, like homie, he didn't become of age now. His, his mother trying to come back around, and, and, and he, don't, he don't want no parts of it. And he asked me what I thought, and I clearly agree with him 100%. You know, it's kind of too late. Like, I mean, not too late. I'm like, maybe things have changed over time. I said, but when you was reaching out, like you said, motherfuckers weren't even there for you. Shit, she never sent you a birthday card, never done none of that shit. When you was reaching, she had too much going on. But then, you know, now that he's doing his thing, you know, in college, you know, studying, look like he's going to have a good, successful career and a successful future. Now she want to pop up. You know, I think that's adding a little extra drama to his life when he should be focusing on his studies. You know? He should be on his studies. But it's crazy, though. It's crazy, though. I'll see how that plays out, though. But um, I think she should uh, let him come at his own pace. You know, you know, you didn't want to be with him when, when it was time for you to take care of him. Now he can take care of himself. Now it seems like she want to pop up in the picture. Yeah, but... um. Later this summer, I'll update you on that when I touch bases with little buddy. See how, how he doing, because I'm damn sure going to gonna, gonna check up on him when it comes to that. But take care of your kids, because when they become successful and shit, and you try to come back later, they going to remember all that shit, because believe me, I remember everything. To uh, when I was four or five years old, to the goddamn cereal I was eating on my birthday. This, the, you know, fuck what they talking about. Smoking takes away your memory. No, sir. It re-clarifies, and I remember. Because I can even talk to my brother, woo, 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 and we all got the same story. Hmm. Even though my 104th Polina boys, they, they know we, we saw the ghosts. Yeah. But hey, you guys have a good day. Finna get on in the wind, go get the lot cleaned up real quick. It's time to detail this joke. And that's why I don't normally smoke in this month. It's my, actually my first time smoking in this truck. I normally don't, but since I'm finna go have it detailed and everything, um, clean the headliners and all that, what the fuck, they, that's that's what they supposed to do, get the smoke right the hell out. So we gonna test that. You know, so, um, like, subscribe, share. You know, how it's your boy. I'm just the average guy just spitting it. Hey, like I say, I ain't right, I ain't wrong. It's just an opinion. I'm just chit-chatting it up with you guys, you know what I'm saying? Y'all rock with me, y'all roll with me. Hit that subscribe button, hit that like button. Give me in that algorithm. One.